Hi everyone. Today we're going to read what do you see? This book is written by Harriet Zeffert. That's the author who writes the words. It is illustrated by Luana Rinaldo. Illustrator is somebody that draws the pictures. Hmm. Looking at our cover page, what do you think this book is going to be about? What do you see? I see a chair. I see a sleeping cat. I see a person reading a book. Hmm. I wonder what that means. We're going to find out. I can open and close my eyes. Can you? This person says, when you close your eyes, the world goes black. Hmm. So try closing your eyes. Does it look like it? What color does it look like to you? Is it black like this child said? Oh, when you open them, everything comes back. So close your eyes again. What do you see? And then open them. Now what do you see? When my eyes are closed, I don't see anything at all. How about you? I can open my eyes wide. That means they open really big. I can look at myself in the mirror. Can you? What do you see when you look in the mirror? When I look in the mirror, I see my hair. I see my eyes. I see I have a small nose and one mouth. And I see I have black eyebrows. What do you see when you look in the mirror? This person sees that they have glasses and that they have a smile on their face. From my window, everything I see looks small. Look outside. What do you see? Hmm. Outside my window, I see windows and rooftop and trees. That tells me that I am in a neighborhood where there are a lot of houses. What do you see outside your window? This person says, outside my window, down below, cars and people stop and go. There's the cars, there's the people. With a magnifying glass, everything I see looks big. Can you make the bugs bigger? Hmm. Do you have a magnifying glass at your house? What do you see when you look through it? Does it make the things look bigger or smaller? I can stand on my head. Can you? Make sure you do it in a safe, soft place because you could hurt your head on the hard floor. Stand on your head, balance on your crown. The crown is the top of your head. Everything you see is upside down. When I read, I make sure my book is right side up. Like this. If I tried to read my book this way, it would be upside down and all the worlds would be hard to read. Read a book about a pup. Make sure to hold it right side up. This person is reading about a puppy. You know that it is about a puppy because the title says my puppy and there is a picture of a puppy on it. This book says my big book 
of beginner books about me. So these are all the books that are inside this one book. It's all about me. What books do you have in your house? I wear eyeglasses. That's what these are called. These are called eyeglasses. Who wears eyeglasses? Do you? Do you have people in your family that wear eyeglasses? This person has a large family that wears eyeglasses. All of them are wearing eyeglasses. This person has a monocle. That means there's only one glass. This person is wearing snorkeling goggles that help you see under the water. I see colors everywhere I look. What colors do you see? Let's look at this first picture. It says mix red and blue. Make a purple hat. They are drawing a hat and then they painted it by mixing it red and blue to make purple. Mix yellow and blue and it makes what color? Green, make a green boat. They used their pencils to draw a boat and then they mixed yellow and blue to make green. Mix red and yellow and it makes orange. They are making an orange cat. Mix red and white and that makes a pink coat. What do you see when it's dark? Hmm. What do you see when it is dark out? That means the sun has set. The sun has went to bed and the moon came out. There is the moon in this picture and the sky is dark. And what do you see these little things are? Yeah, they're stars. At night, sometimes you can see stars if it's not cloudy. Turn on the lights and what do you see? What do you see when you turn on the lights? Let me try turning on one of my lights. <gasps> it's bright. When I turn it off, it's darker. When it's really dark and I'm in bed, I see shadows on the wall. A shadow is the part, the outline of an object where the light is shining. So this football makes a football shadow. The dinosaur makes a dinosaur shadow. And when it's sunny outside, your body makes a shadow too. Do you see shadows on your wall at night? Oh, this person's using their hand to make a bunny shadow. The end. That was the end of our book. Thanks for joining me for our story today. I hope you had fun. Until next time. Bye.